Hello and welcome, I'm Rory from Rammer Time and welcome to today's video. This is Satisfactory version 1.0, the playthrough that we're doing. And this is episode, unlucky for some, 13. This is cool, right? So I I finally am starting to kind of put this all together now and, and I really am liking the kind of look that I'm getting. Now this is only just a small area, but... This is really cool. So thank you very much for joining me today. If you haven't seen any of the previous episodes, I will recommend take a look back, um, see how we got to where we are. It's all coming together. It's not a, it's not a quick one. We're not rushing and doing a monumental, massive builds or anything like that. We're just having some fun, putting it together, and we're building some, uh, some little factories. So we've got to lay it and love it limited over there. That's the kind of central area that I need to clean up still. We've got plate my rods up there which is uh, doing some uh, iron stuff. And then down there, in a very unfinished state, is the copper factory. Downstairs, we have our beautiful looking storage room where I am starting to get stuff coming in. The big milestone we made last time was the uh, circuit boards and the computers, which we now have some of. And we're doing all right on circuit boards as well. Considering it's such a slow system, because I'm so busy elsewhere, it's just building up. That's good, I like it. We've unlocked everything inside of here, so we need to get phase seven going. So we need to look at the uh, the next lot of parts. Now the versatile framework's easy. We've already got that, that's back at the other base. We just need to get it here. Modular engines, not so bad. Adaptive control units, a lot of work, but it's all fine. We're gonna get there, we're gonna get there. Hopefully today, we might even unlock the next one. We have to see. <laughs> You serious? It depends how well we do because I have kind of been very, very busy in another part of the map. I'd laid out the foundations for what will be the steel factory. And it is going to be a very interesting sight. However, I was a bit concerned about the power. So I put together this quick fuel power station using a few of the oil nodes that are quite near to where the steel factory is. Obviously classic phrase, I still need to dress it all and make it look nice. But this is all in and functional. It's still filling up though. It's going to take a while to get this backed up. But it's working and it will stop us from running out of power while we build the steel factory. But we are a long way from home and there's a lot of work to do. I think as a starting point, this is looking really cool, very exciting. Let's see what we can do with it. Once we've got these frames and various other bits getting back to the base, we'll be able to start doing some elevator parts. There's also something else that's quite interesting. If you come into this somewhat spooky cave that's just underneath the steel factory, there are some interesting nodes down, as well as a ton of spiders that keep respawning. Doesn't matter how many times you kill them. But yes, down in this cave, we have a couple of pure quartz nodes and a SAM node. So I'm thinking that I might need to try and find a way to leverage this, but let's not get too distracted at this stage. As I say, I'll probably belt those out of there and up and make an extra area of this factory that will do quartz, silica, and SAM. And then that can be brought back by my little chew here. Woohoo! Which reminds me, it's got the wrong name. This one needs to be called Mike. Although to be fair, that probably won't stay exactly like that. I will likely build it into something interesting, but We'll, we'll worry about that later. Anyway, so this is my setup for the foundries. I need to do some work on it still, and I need to put it out there and see if it's gonna work, and then we can switch it all on and see what's gonna happen. But there is so much to do here, because yeah, my quick maths are that I actually only need to put down 26 of these because of the lack of coal. They're not pure coal nodes, so therefore I'm only getting 300 on each. So I've got four of those. So that means I'm only getting 1200 coal. So that's kind of the limit. Uh, unless I belt more in from somewhere else, which I don't really want to do at the moment. We'll see. If we have a train coming in and out, maybe that's an option. But for now, I can keep it quite simple. Then I, I believe it's 19 constructors for beams, 19 for pipes, and 7 assemblers for the encased industrial beams. But then alongside that, I need to smelt some ordinary iron. I'll have about 5 smelters for that, which will then use... 10 constructors to create iron rods, and then a further 15 constructors for screws, which will then go into about 10 more constructors for concrete. So there is, a <laughs> there's gonna be a lot going on in here, just as an, an interesting little factory. And that is before we start considering bringing up quartz and doing stuff with all of that. 
Anyway, I best get on with it. Oh boy. I made some progress. So this is the initial setup for the foundries. And that is, uh, yeah, a lot of foundries all set up ready to do the steel. And some very remarkable belt work going on here. <laughs> Underneath everything is organized quite well. Now while this might look messy, it's actually quite cool. Um, it was a faff to get set up, but these are two to three balancers. So basically, on each side, we have two belts of iron and two belts of coal. That's then getting split into three, meaning that we're injecting three different points all the way along the line, from the start to here and to here with basically six constructors per balance load. And that's happening on the other side as well. So over here, same thing. On the inside, we're getting four output belts coming through in the middle and everything else is all being uh, manifolded into the system. So it gets balanced once and then the rest is manifolded. So it's another hybrid. But that then gives us our four outputs here, which are gonna go up here and there's gonna be a kind of bit of a centerpiece to watch the, uh, the steel ingots go up They'll then go along somewhere and then come over to here because the shape of the building I'm thinking is that it's this kind of thing that struts out like that and then this bit is the bit that's going to go quite tall. It's still pretty large but it will be a, a bit of a tower I think because I've still got so many to build. These are my five smelters for doing the iron which is basically making the rods and the steel and the screws and then over here are the constructors that are converting the limestone into concrete. I've kind of gone for this thing where they're slightly sunk into the ground. I've got this thing about sinking things into the ground at the moment. I like that. The floor we're on, this is actually going to be the floor. Down here is the underfloor. And now this is, again, this is where all the belt work is handled. And if I was to give any advice, if you're building a factory like this, and that is to make sure if you are doing underfloor belting, give yourself a ton of room. Like, so I've got basically about six meters worth of height and that's in a two block, which means I could always uh, get an extra meter if I needed to, either up or down. And um, that means that when you're dealing with stuff like this, it's a little bit easier to worry about. And as you see, if I go along there, those are just fitting in nicely. So all of this will be floored with some glass panels to look through and see all of this wonderfulness going on and probably some cool lighting and all of that kind of fun stuff there's something insanely satisfying about this belt work i absolutely love it i'm really tempted to get it fired up now before i go too much further in case there's any problems but i think i won't i think i'm going to carry on building the entire thing so that basically start up the entire factory in one go and then a bit like the other ones as soon as it's sort of done and working I'll then look at making it look pretty, dressing it all in, all of that kind of jazz. Ow. But yeah, that was no small feat setting all of this up. It, that was uh, quite some work to do, I tell you. <laughs> but it's ready to go. Let's carry on. Well, it's starting to come together. It's getting pretty tall. So, we've got our foundries, we've got our smelters, we've got our constructors. We've got two rows of constructors there. I'm going to run out of fuel. I wasn't expecting that. So quick tour then before I get on again because honestly this is just laborious. But I'll take you through what I've been doing. Um, so yeah, so we've got the foundry set up here. We have got over here the smelters and then behind the smelters which are doing our iron ore. We have 12 constructors that are doing the concrete. And if we head over here, that's all belted up and ready. That is where the steel ingots will come out of that building there and they will go up the tower. I like to I like to put the belts on the outsides of buildings. It's just one of the things I've always done. I like to see movement around the buildings. It's cool. Uh, so yeah, so we're, we're going in there. We'll likely come out there as well, or we may not. But then this is the first bank of, um, I think it's 19, 19, which are doing our steel beams. So it's a bank of 20. Uh, so they're doing the steel beams. And then above is another bank of 20, and these are doing steel pipes. So we've got steel pipes and steel beams being made there. And then when we go up another one, these are the assemblers, which are doing the encased industrial beams, which of course is using the concrete being made downstairs as well as the steel beams. And then above this is six assemblers, which I haven't set to do anything yet, but these will be doing 
something. Something really important. I've just absolutely no idea what. Right. Well. I've been busy. I've added in 35 smelters to do the iron. Which come there and then you, you go all the way down here. And uh, obviously this will all be part of the design of the room and so on. It'll look really good. Then on the other side, this is what's turning our limestone into concrete. So we've now got steel ingots we've got iron ingots and we've got concrete so that's everything we need for the first part which then comes up to here now here we have 20 constructors and i have had to put signs up because i was getting so confused with what i was trying to actually do here so steel beams i'm using the standard recipe and yeah so i've got 10 uh steel beam um constructors and then over here i've got 10 pipes which are doing the f the steel pipe so this is using the iron rather than rather than the steel so that gets me more pipes at 25 per minute instead of the normal 20 minutes 20 minutes 20 per minute so just slightly more but it does use a lot of the uh, the, the iron which is why um, yeah I've got to have so many iron thingies and then if we go up another one oh by the way every floor has a um, what do you call this a uh, a floor specifically for I was gonna say boat engines then I'm not sure why um, a, a floor specifically for um, belt management anyway so if we head up here yeah I scrapped a lot of this so I had a load of these running down this side and I've scrapped them because I'm not using them now so I need to tidy all this area up this is another one of the alternate recipes is the screws basically turning one steel beam into 52 screws so this gives us a lot of screws. So that takes care of our screw issue. So four of these are taking care of screws. And then six of them are doing the uh, iron plates. So they're just making iron plates for us. Nice and simple. And then we'll go up another floor. And here we have eight assemblers. And these are doing our uh, encased beams. And I think this is just the standard recipe, if I remember rightly. Yes. So that's, that's just doing our encased beams. Nice and simple. And then we go up another level. And we have here six assemblers, which are making modular frames. This is a an alternate, so this is the steeled frame. Um, so yeah, so it uses two reinforced plates and two steel pipes, rather than using rods. So I haven't got to make a ton of rods to get up here, because we can use the pipes that we're already making. So that's fine, and that takes care of that. And there's two levels basically the same. So uh, two lots of six, which gives us all the frames. I mean, that should actually say six. I don't know why it says 12, it's just going to confuse me. Five manus. Now, I'm actually not going to do five, I'm going to do four. So out of this, out of all of this, <laughs> we're going to be making something around about three. I think it's like 2.5 or three heavy modular frames a second, a minute, a second, I wish. If you want those big numbers on those, you need to do the pure refineries. And to be honest, while there's water nearby, I could have gone down that route. I just... Yeah, I just didn't want to. I wanted to make, I wanted to do this, so I'm quite happy with that. I don't need it to rush out tons of them. I just need some coming out. But what you should get an idea of is the kind of shape the building's going to be, which that's the, kind of one of the things that I'm really looking forward to is um, actually making this into a proper, proper building because we're going to have this lovely kind of deep, tall area here, and then this bit, and it juts out over the the edge of the cliff uh, with a train station underneath and I may well have some tractor stuff going on and it's very likely that the back area there will grow because I'm probably going to do the uh, the quartz and the sand factory here as well and put that all into the train station. We're, we're very close to actually being able to switch this on. I've got a ton of work to do to um, get all the power. I've still got some belting to do uh, up here is not not fully complete but yeah this is taking quite some time to get this one set up but once it's set up this will be a good little factory that will will tick over some decent numbers of steel uh, and give us all the bits that we need to start getting the next set of elevator parts done. Best get on with it. A few moments later. Boff. Well, um, yeah. <laughs> We're getting there. Forgive my voice, by the way. I'm not feeling very well at the minute. And uh, yeah, it's making this kind of hard. But <laughs> after a, a mass load of brain farts and not figuring stuff out, I've got pretty much everything wired up, everything set up with the exception... Oh of my plates which for some reason 
I just keep forgetting to make the reinforced plates. Now I only need to make four assemblers for this. So we're going to go ahead and just do this now and quickly get this set up because then we can turn it on. And that's that's the bit I'm kind of looking forward to. Ah, this was the reason why I didn't do it though was because my blueprint for these. No, my blueprint's on my other machine. Oh, that's annoying. I might have to. So I've got two choices here. I can either make it manually, which I don't really feel like doing. Because how many did I say I needed? I only need four. It's like two clicks <laughs> if I've got the blueprint. So I, I need to either I need to go to the other machine, save it, quickly put them in, and then come back, or I copy the file onto here. Oh, dag nabbit! No, it's fine. Let's do some magic of editing stuff. There we go. Right. Well, we resolved the problem by uh, simply um, copying the files from the other one. Okay, that's not looking bad. So I'll shift it over. Come up here and have a look. And it's a bit far away. Okay, so that's the four set up. Now we just need to sort of tidy the area up a little bit and connect it all up. Now if I remember rightly, this belt here, what is that giving me? That's giving me screws. These four belts are reinforced plates, so that's these. So yeah, so they need screws and they need iron plates. The iron plates are actually being made just there, so that's easy. Actually, all of this is easy because it's all being made locally. Now that we've got that in, I know this is probably impossible to follow because I'm struggling to keep up with it and I'm doing it. But we've got to quickly link all of this up because it's not done in the blueprint because I forgot. <laughs> and I've also, I've just realised as well, I've got this all going the wrong way. Oh, God. <laughs> so I'm going to have to run everything down and then back up or change all of the, um, the mergers, which, or splitters, sorry, which, to be honest, I can't do because I have not got that in me right now. So... We're just going to worry about that later. That's a problem for Ron. Later on. Right, so screws. We've got to get down and then back up again. So, well, we're going to head this way. So screws take the long way and come in via there. And then this one is the one where I need the iron plates. Now the plates are coming from this way. Right. And that is why you have plenty of space in your uh, belting area. Because, obviously... If you haven't, this is a nightmare. But I've made a mistake here somewhere because I've got nothing inputting into my... Uh, these need iron plates, don't they? Iron ingots, sorry. They make iron plates, so they need iron ingots. Where are my iron ingots coming from? My huge line somewhere of smelters down here are giving me iron ingots. Now, what I could probably do is take a feed early on because I don't think we need that many for them, do I? I should have counted them before I jumped down. Uh, so that's using 30 per minute and there are six of them. So only actually needs 180, so um, that's quite straightforward. We'll just take a feed from over here. I'm now just connecting up the... They're the reinforced steel plates. So they need to come over here. Oh, this is this is madness. I'll tell you. Let's do that. Oh, man. Honestly, this has been utterly ridiculous. I forgot how much effort goes into belting up all of these floors. I mean, they, they don't look so bad when you get higher up because obviously there's less going on. But in the earlier ones, where you're trying to make it so that stuff gets up to certain floors, yeah, the logistics are just an absolute nightmare. But... It is now all, in theory, set up. And, again, I've, I've, I need to tidy this area up, but we've got everything controlled through this area down here. So it looks a bit nuts on this side, but if you come around here, obviously this will all be enclosed in, as part of the building, but you come into here, into the power room, and this is all of the, the areas of the factory separated. So we've got the main isolation, so that's everything coming in. Everything goes through there. If I want to switch this entire factory off, I come in here, I switch that off. Then we've got uh, the steel foundries, the smelters, the concrete, and then it's the individual floors. We can actually get the uh, stuff coming in here before powering up, which is, is the bit I'm kind of looking forward to. But troubleshooting this is going to be so difficult because literally there is stuff everywhere. It, the belts are just mental. Right, however, let's... Let's think about this Kirfali. So one thing I didn't do was actually set up the power separately for these. So once I power these on, it will all just start going in, but it won't do anything until I switch it on in there. But you know what we didn't? I haven't shown you upstairs. 
I really, really need to put stairs in as well because, uh, yeah, flying up is uh, a little bit tricky. Um, also, this is my storage area. This is what's going to connect to the train station. I've got to belt everything over to there. Still haven't done that yet. Um, but that's once it's all running, I'll worry about that. There's this kind of main, we'll call it the main bus, where everything is going upstairs that is needed for the manufacturers. This is the floor for the manu the, the, the belt floor for the manufacturers down here. So this one's sort of extra double height because of the fact that it's got all of this going on. It's relatively tidy, I'm quite happy with that. And it just puts out two belts, even though they're not, they're not full, it's just for aesthetics. They come out of there and go down here. And yeah, this is going to be a big tall room with glass and there'll probably be an observatory area up the top and it'll all look really cool. They, they do their thing and then they come down here and then there's this kind of, like I say, this, this outward bus as well where stuff that I want to keep in those bins all joins this here, either from down or from up. And then they run around here and join into these bins here nice and neatly. And then, like I say, from these bins it will then go out to the train station uh, and that will then deliver stuff back to the main base. And it's going to be these things that we're making here. We're not making drastic numbers, but we're, we're making a fair bit. I, th I guess it's time to go and get everything coming coming in, Al. Yeah, we could probably go and switch it all on right about now. So we've got two trips to do now. There is power on these, so we can switch on the coal easy enough over here. But I'm going to go and switch on the iron that's at the end of that. This is quite a way at the moment still. I'm planning in a very coming soon episode to blueprint a highway train thing so that I can um, basically start making my train station that goes around the world which will also feature a road for trucks to come in and out from um, as well as a hypertube system that will make sort of linking everything together just that touch easier what do I need to connect here I've come up here because this is if you remember this is where the iron is coming down from and none of that is on Ah. No, it's that one and that one. Ready? Okay, so they're on. Oh, they're not overclocked yet either. These need to be maxed out. Oh, silly me. Quick, quick. So I'm doing these based around 480, but I actually will probably upgrade it all. Once I get the Mark III belts and the Mark V, uh, Mark V belts and the Mark III miners, I'll probably upgrade it so it goes in a bit quicker. And that'll, that'll actually take up some of the slack in my um, in the main factory. Right, so they are now heading across. That's all good. That's all good. So this one needs a connection. So we'll do that. That should make that go green. That needs to also be... Oh, I've actually got less there than I thought as well. That needs the upgrade for sure. Because I thought that was a pure down there, but it's not. Okay. All right, not to worry. Uh, then we need to come down here. Oh, this is all running already. Oh, okay. Oh, that must... Oh, that's all linked. So I've just connected those. Okay, here and have a look. Yep, we've got stuff going in. This stuff will be a, a little while yet. I want to make sure, before I turn anything else on, I want to make sure that coal is in that side and iron is in that side and it's the same on the other side as well. But until this st starts arriving. So that's, yep, good, that's good. We've got the iron ore and we've got, yes, 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 yes. Okay, honestly, I am so nervous about this. The amount of effort that's gone into just this one building, I forgot. When I, I played this, like, what was it, three years ago I did the last playthrough? And I forgot just how much went into all of that. That's just mad. Okay, so that's looking really good. Although we... When did I get that? I'm not liking the look of that, though. Catch up. Why is there... A, there's a back in as well. Oh, there must be a... I must have set up a loop there for some reason or another. I'm not sure why. So that goes off down there. Yep, so that takes a bunch out of it. Right, good. Okay, but that's all exactly as I was hoping. That doesn't look good. Oh no, how have I managed to do that? See, there's the problem. I'm going to have to drain these belts because I've managed to get that wrong. Those two are supposed to go in the same one. Oh god. Uh, disconnect you. Oh, how did I manage that? Oh man, look at that. Will that fix itself? I feel like it probably will fix itself because it's in, it's in the first lot, right? So it will just burn through it. Because it's getting both, it will just be out of whack until it sorts itself out. I think... Oh, do you know what? I'm going to take the gamble. I think that's going to fix itself. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do that, which is absolutely fine. And then this guy here, uh, before the turn, he needs to come up here. And then he can go straight in like that. Obviously, it's fixed moving forward. I think it'll be alright. I think it'll be fine. 
Let's go and find out. Let's go and turn it all on and see what actually happens. We're going to head down this way. Right. Could do it a little bit at a time. Let's turn on the main switch. Okay. Did I connect? I, I'm pretty sure I did connect it, didn't I? <laughs> I have a feeling I haven't actually connected it. Right, connect that to that. Right, that gives us power into the factory. I know that's horrid, but I will fix that because I'm gonna I'm gonna have so much to fix in here anyway. <laughs> okay, so let's go and check. We should now. Yep, yeah, we're seeing some uh, something there. Okay, so the steel foundries. Here we go. Right. And let's run out here and see. Oh, we've got smoke. We've got movement. We've got some red lights here. Why have we got red lights? Oh, my design's not very good. It blocks the lights, so you can't actually see them. That's a bit rubbish. So, I know exactly what I've done here. <laughs> I've not actually connected them. Look, I should actually have four belts being filled here. Okay, so that's from there. So, it's these guys here are not getting anything. Why are you not getting anything? Okay, it's just obviously a bug because they're connected. They're just not filling up. Oh, this is hard. So. There we go. Alright, that's doing those. I'm hoping that we'll start seeing stuff on all four belts, which we do. There we go. Good. Nice. Okay, good. Yeah, that'll all back up because half of it doesn't go anywhere at the moment. And because I'm <laughs> I massively messed up all my calculations earlier. <laughs> It's honestly, it's such a mess. But what I'll do is I'll have it all going in somewhere, getting merged into one and then coming back out because at the moment it's it's just wasting half of it. So, that's that one. What's next? So, smelters. Let's get them on. Oh, that didn't work, did it? <laughs> Why didn't that work? That should have worked. Right, well, I've done something a bit skewy <laughs> with me power, but we're going to carry on. We'll try and work out as we go. That should get me smelters on. So, my lights on. There we go. We've got... We've got orange lights. We've got some green up the end there. So we've certainly got we've got some smoke. Some are working. These guys aren't getting anything. So we've got to figure out why they, that is. Because it comes... There's a break here. All right, I think this is just a case that I've forgotten to connect some of the belts to get that running through there. That's fine then. Okay, so I found a few places that uh, I had forgotten to connect the belts, you know, between the, the blueprints. So those are hopefully fixed now. We've got a major issue over here though, I know this, because this shouldn't be going in that direction. So we need to make sure that that is fully clear, and then I can delete that, because this is the out. I don't know what I was thinking there. This area is going to be an absolute mess, but whatever, I don't care. I'm just desperate to try and figure out what the heck I've done here. So we're going to come across there, we're going to come down to there, and then we're going to relink that. Because that is supposed to be ingots. Right, okay. So that's good. So anyway, let's move on. So next is the concrete. So we'll switch on the concrete now. Okay, concrete. Hopefully these are all now churning away. Look good. Concrete's there. So that's good. That should be going up to the encased beams. So that will be starting to fill up these belts here, which is all good and groovy and wonderful. So concrete was, was pretty straightforward. That's excellent. Right, now we've got to go to first floor. Right. So first floor. Now we're going to head R1. And we should start... Well, we've got lights, except for that one there. It's red for some reason. So it's either not got a recipe or it's... No, it has got a recipe. It's just got no power. Oh, it's just not connected. Right, anyway. That's good. So we've got... Um, coming out of here, we've got pipes and we've got the steel beams. So, yep, we've got pipes there. Yeah, we're not getting the steel ingots in there for that for some reason. But they are there. And, yeah, they're just... Uh, it's not connected. Okay. <laughs> There we go. Right, so these are now moving. We should start seeing some stuff fly up here. Yay, there we go. Okay, good. Right, so that's the first floor is working and good. Second floor. Okay, so we've got power here. They're expecting steel beams, but we're not seeing any movement. These are our plates, but we've got no power. We must have forgotten to connect that to that. Yep, they're making iron plates. 
but my screws aren't doing anything at the moment. So they're not getting any steel beams. These guys, what's wrong with these guys? Okay, so they just need the power connecting. Obviously forgot to do that. Connect you to there. Right, so that gets you lot live. Right, you're waiting for iron plates and screws. Iron plates are working. Screws on. I have a sneaky suspicion I forgot to connect these up when we were doing this earlier. So these are coming in and they're connected. No, I've done it again. Where I've got them the wrong way round. <laughs> oh my god, how do I get this so wrong? Right, um, we've got screws on the move. So that is that sorted out. There are, I made some really, really silly mistakes there just with putting some of the belts the wrong way around, some ins and some outs. But as you can see, that is level one's bits now heading off into the bin. Obviously that will back up at some point, which will then help the factory out, make it run a bit better up until we get the Mark III miners. I probably will still expand it as well. I think I'll add some more, but uh, for now, yeah, I just want to get it running. Level two is all good and working. Uh, concrete is backed up as well, so we're ready to go switch the next one on. All right, and we've got stuff going on there, this is good. Let's turn it on. Here's something fun for you. I, I've done seven floors, but I don't think I've actually got seven floors, so I've got another mistake somewhere I've got to try and fix. But <laughs> let's... <laughs> let's head up. Third is this, so we've got concrete moving, which is good, because that means, yep, we've got steel beams and concrete, they're making our encased beams, which we should start seeing going downwards. Oh, actually, we should see them both. We should see some going up. Yep. So we've got some going up, and we've got some going down. Perfect. Blimey, that one actually just worked without having to do anything. There we go, so we're making some modular frames, so again, we should start seeing them moving up. Yes, there we go, we've got modular frames going up, and we should actually see some down there. Yeah, because I have got a bin for them. <laughs> None of my bins are labelled correctly. <laughs> oh my god, do I get anything right? Oh well, whatever. I've got, so I've got to ch change the labels, but there we go, look, they are heading in. Brilliant, okay, good. Turn on the next floor. The next floor is the same thing again. So we're going to do two floors at once here. Because that, that fifth floor is the same thing. Yeah, I'm, I think I've got one extra floor that I don't need. <laughs> right, so we're looking good there. A bit of a, a sea of yellow, which I'm not so happy about. That wasn't good. We've got no power on that floor, so we're going to just nip up the top and see if we... Right, we've got power up here. Typically, because I did this on the one where I've got two, I don't actually know... <laughs> oh my goodness me, look, I haven't even connected any of that. <laughs> I'm such an Arthur job today. Look at... Oh my god, Rory. Okay, well, I've figured out... Yeah, I've... I've I need to sort out all my uh, steel ingots coming in because I've got a lot of, uh, a lot of little issues here. <laughs> Here that I need to fix but important point is it's running if it's running like badly or inefficiently that's fine because I can fix that up but yeah now these ones are starting to back up these will all start to back up eventually and then hopefully we'll get a lot more of these uh, uh, steel beams coming out so we'll sort that out we'll, we'll get more more throughput going on there because yeah half of the half of the steel I'm making I'm not even using thanks to my original design was going to have these on multiple levels but then because I used alternates I ended up not using them. I'm used, using more blooming iron than I am the steel. But anyway, whatever. Right, we'll worry about that in a bit. We're basically done. Everything is kind of running, except for the guys up on the very, very top floor. But yeah, at least we're seeing those now, which means that frames will be being made. Look, cause, yep, up here is starting to, to fill up. So that's fine. Okay, we're going to be nice and efficient. We're only going to put Mark 1s on there so that they... Going slowly. Okay. I'm not seeing anything happening. Why not? <laughs> oh. Alright. Perhaps the Mark 1s was. <laughs> God. I just don't get anything right ever, do I? Perhaps we, we, we're going to need to upgrade these because of the screws. I hear a noise. Something is doing something. We have two green lights. Yay! There she goes. <laughs> Goodbye. Ah, brilliant. Right, well, there we go. The fact that one has come out <laughs> is absolutely good enough for me for now. Definitely got some work to do. I've got to fix this up somehow and make it a little bit better. Because, yeah, we're hard. We're, a lot of this stuff's just sitting. Not even. I, I didn't think I'd have enough to do all of this. But I've got some yellow lights, so, like, why? Oh, it's because the steel can't get out. It can't get anywhere. That's why. Yeah, so no, I need to. I bet you I'm going to end up. Yeah, 
I'm going to end up doubling this up and having another row of these that way, I bet you, in order to uh, make the sheer amount of steel beams I need because I've obviously well undercooked it because I'm clearly as well not getting enough for my screws. But I have a sneaky suspicion that this has been rather a long episode, so uh, I think we're gonna. Whoa, I think we're gonna call it a day here, <laughs> um, and I'm gonna just go ahead and see if I can figure out what I've done wrong, and then in the next episode we're gonna look at tarting the building up a little bit. You can see, I think, you can see kind of what I'm going for. It's obviously still very construction site esque, but once I've kind of got everything working and roughly what I want. I'm going to start making it look pretty and make it uh, explorable and navigatable. And we're going to connect up the train station and get the stuff heading back to the main base. Then we can look at uh, unlocking the next elevator parts. Well, not unlocking them, but making them. Because we've got some heavy industrial frames coming in. Ah, it's a relief, I tell you. Honestly. <laughs> anyway, I do hope you've enjoyed <laughs> this video as much as I've had an absolute nightmare trying to make it. Um, if you did, please remember hit that like button. Uh, also subscribe and click the little bell when you want to get notified when I pop a new video. Honestly, it really helps me if you do that. And those of you that love to comment, honestly, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, so all that is left for me to do is say bye for now.